Hey guys, I haven't done a video in a while. Um, this is the second part of the last video. Uh, basically, stuff for trade and sale I have. Um, I went to a friend's rave recently, uh, doing a merch table selling stuff. I brought an NES, no one bought that. Uh, ended up hooking up to a booth neck or a table at a booth next to my booth um, and had a good time with that. We were playing Russian Attack for a few hours. And then I have this GameCube. Now, it might not look special or anything, but put a rainbow LED in the front. It's a purse. And then on the bottom, as little, you know, the little high speed port covers or actually little stash spots for extra change and whatnot. Up here, it was originally the power switch for the battery and everything were going to be put right up here but it wouldn't fit in there with this little latch so I had to slide it down a little but it still works and it's really cool I think if I used purses I would use this but I don't and then I have the on off switch also on the bottom so if you ever want you know store want to store it anywhere you can turn that off it runs on two um, coin cell batteries, but it seems to last a while. And I altered the little tray under it so the wires will fit under it. Uh, no one bought that at the rave, obviously. Um, before when I was selling it, it didn't have uh, the light in it. But I added that in. That's for sale or trade. I have a friend. Uh, I'm waiting on a friend to buy it, but if that doesn't pan out, I'll sell it on here or Etsy. Um, this never sold, which I was shocked because this got the most attention. Um, it's a Game Boy Perler bead necklace with an LED circuit in it, and it will slowly blink. Um, then I have these things I was really shocked in sell because uh, the Rave is actually called Space Jam. Um, I also had a, a you know, it was all space themed. Um, all my Pac-Man stuff sold, but... I had a whole bunch of these Space Invader necklaces if I could grab them. The red one, this one is posted up on Etsy right now. So if anyone's interested, I'll post the links for that. I have a green one, this one's not on Etsy. All the charms of these uh, Space Invader ones glow. And I have the purple one with uh, blue beads. That's on Etsy. Uh, this is a heart charm I made that has the LEDs in the back, or LED. This one I really like. This one is also up on Etsy. Um, glowing mushroom necklace. Um, I have enough materials to make one more of these. Because I have the charms already made up. And I have another one of those heart ones. It's a little different, I think. I think it's pink. And then I have... Necklace may have crazy bones. It has a little clasp up on the top. And this one's really cool. It's 100% unique because I can't make another one like this ever again because all the little beads are different. There's a little slack in it, but that's because the beads, depending on how you work them, they always change. You know, their spacing's different. And then I have a second one. That lights up. Now the two Crazy Bone ones aren't cheap. Um, I was trying to sell them for about 25 to 20 bucks depending on each one. The only reason they're so expensive is because they take about a day, two days. Uh, it took me the first one, it took me about I think a week to finish it. Because each bead takes about 20 minutes, 15 minutes to drill through. Because um, if you use a fast power drill, it will melt the middle of them and then the drill bit breaks and I've broken about four of them on, the, on making them. But those are the necklaces and then for earrings I have left. I have a lot of earrings. Um, if you want to buy them all, let me know. I'll sell you all of them. Um, I got Pac-Man Ghost Earrings, those uh, glow. I have Zydrate Earrings, I have about four pairs of those, four or three pairs, and those glow. I have two pairs of these. These were the only mushrooms that didn't sell. The blue and pink sold. 
which I think I might have enough supplies to make those, maybe. Uh, these are um, LED earrings. And then I have these ones. These ones glow and have the LED in it. And these um, are LED as well. These uh, react to UV light. I have A and B buttons from the N64. Those are earrings. I have cupcake earrings. Monster energy drink earrings. Not sure if I showed these yet. I have little like moon rock earrings, those glow. I have Zelda, I have two pairs of these. I have the Zelda 8 bit hearts, or whatever you want to call them. Those glow. I have two pairs of those. And then I have two pairs of sushi. And that's, I think, all I have for the earrings. Um, that's all I have for, our, you know, non-video game stuff that's a video game theme. And then I have about I have an NES with um, Russian Attack and a glitchy version of uh, Metal Gear. Uh, comes with controller, cables, all that stuff. Can either come with RF or the normal, uh, you know, two, uh, I forget what they're called. You know, the three wires, well, two wires for that one. And then I have an original Xbox soft modded with either RF or the red, yellow, and white cables. And then I have a Sega Genesis Mall 1. I have no clue if it works. I don't have the cables, but it has a controller. I might have the RF for it, though. I just don't have the power. And then for um, Game Boy, I have three games. I have uh, two Game Boy Advance games. Um, Need for Speed and Jurassic Park, and then I have Pac-Man for the original Game Boy. And then I think that's all I have for trade. The only other thing I might have is if um, anyone wants, I might have a yellow Game Boy Color for trade. And um, a few of the... Um, PS2 uh, iToy games. I have a whole ton of those and the iToy itself. Um, other than that, that's all I really have for trade. Um, and if you want to trade, be serious about it. Um, I'm not going to send you the games for free. If I don't have it listed and I say I don't have them for trade or don't want to trade them, I don't want to trade them. I keep getting a lot of 10 and 12 year olds spamming me messages. Um, and if it's, and some of the stuff I have right now are in hold because um, a kid wants to buy them or trade them for a broken PSP. Um, and also, um, I've had a whole bunch of people message me about broken items. If they're really broken and I can't fix them, I'll only, you know, they're not going to be worth a lot in trade because I can't fix them. They'll be only good for parts maybe. Um... Then another update, um, I've seen a lot of people have been subscribing me, so uh, that's pretty cool. I don't know if um, you guys are actually subscribing me because you like my channel or, or I'm getting more trolls. Um, either way, hey, I got more subscribers. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys like my videos. Uh, please message me if you want to trade anything. Um, I'll post the stuff I have on from Etsy. Um, I would prefer you just buy it from the Etsy link. Um, but if you want to do like a, a trade for it, I'd have to get your item first or, you know, full commitment because taking it off Etsy will cost me money because I'd have to cancel, uh, the, uh, the transaction I have on it. It's like eBay almost, you know, they charge you to post it. So other than that, um, send me a message if you guys want to do any trades or whatnot. And heck, if I get, um... Say, I don't even know how many subscribers I have now. 
Say if I get um, 100 subscribers, because I'm at 24 right now. Hell, I might raffle something off if you guys want. But I have to hit 100 subscribers within, I would say, before before my birthday. My birthday is on September 29th. If I get 100 subscribers before September 29th, I will give, a, uh, give something out. That sounds easy enough. So, uh, thanks for subscribing, and I will not add anyone as a friend unless I've talked to you before, or many times, or know you in person. So, yeah, thanks for watching. Uh, see you guys later.